Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Friday and I'm starting up another vlog. It's already been a busy morning actually. Been to the car dealership, had to get my car serviced. And I'll have to go back to get some other things fixed on it. But maintaining the car I have is cheaper than buying a new car right now. So I'm just trying to keep it going as long as I can. It's actually in really good shape. It's 11 years old but only has 57 thousand miles on it basically I only drive it in town and don't really go out of town anymore so uh, it's a Honda Accord it runs great just do maintenance on it and keeps going I would like to get something different that's easier for Papa to get in and out of and then obviously holds more but right now I just would rather make do with what I have than get a car payment anyway a one sale overnight Ooh, this uh fourth of July week at week Cannot come to an end soon enough for me in terms of sales. This is just a vintage uh, baby Kermit little Muppets book. It sold for $10.19. Um, and I had free media mail shipping on that. Picking up dinner. Lucy? Lucy, say it is Friday night and we have hardly not vlogged at all. Because there have not been no more eBay orders to show anyone, have there? We had a busy day doing stuff. And now it's time for bed. Where's Mr. Charlie? <gasps> what are you doing up here, Mr. Aw? Oh, were we outside? Yes. Charlie loves to be outside. We can stay outside all day long. Not peeing or pooping like we're supposed to. But just being outside, eating the grass, sticking my face in cobwebs. Running away when I hear a bird chirp. Scratching myself. I'm scratching myself. <laughs> Maybe something interesting will happen tomorrow, Lucy. What do you think? Say, don't plan on it. Don't plan on it. <laughs> Lucy, everybody see your pretty face? Everybody loves Lucy. Lucy, look at the camera. Hey, look right here. Look right here. There she is. There's a pretty face. Miss Lucy. It is Saturday morning. I have no plans this weekend other than to take photos for eBay. Um, well, that's the imposter mark. Right now, it's all eBay. Get my eBay store loaded. Um, and everything I had photos of is listed except for two things, which are some pens. I just need to do a little bit more research. And then that vintage clarinet that I just don't know what to do with. And I'm kind of saving back and I just might auction it. Anyway, so I have lots of... Um, items ready to go. They are cleaned, checked. I just need to do the photos. So that will be my weekend. We're starting off with three orders. Hallelujah. Uh, this set of these Bodum tea glasses, I got these at that Scandinavian shop estate sale. These sold on Etsy, $24.99, buyer paid shipping. And then on eBay, this little goofy keychain sold for $8.49, free shipping. And a little pack of Disney pencils. Um, Faber Castile vintage pencils. They sold for $14.99 with free shipping. Those will go um, via first class. So I'm in my office taking photos. Got all of those done. Um, going through tubs that I have. Those need to be done. God bless Papa. He cleaned all of this stuff and then he wrapped it and taped it. <laughs> I said, um, you know those weren't listed yet, right? Oh well, no big deal. I'll just undo them. <laughs> so it is Saturday night. I'm just hanging out in my bedroom, going through stuff, straightening stuff up, opening stuff up, just doing stuff, you know, on a Saturday night stuff. So I thought I would go through um, Daily Goodie Box I got. So Daily Goodie Box sends out monthly boxes of freebies. It's a free sample box, so you don't pay for it. You go to their website and register, fill out their questionnaires so they know what kind of samples they can match you to and you might get a box. Um, you can't control when you get a box, you can't request a box, it's just left up to you matching up with the products that they have that month. But it is legitimate. Um, now this box they did send me as a blogger box. They reached out to me and asked if they could send me one. They've sent me these before. Um, so I'll link them below. Again, it is completely free. Uh, you just go on, you create an account, you answer the poll questions. The more questions that you answer, the more likely it is you will get freebies because then you, they know that you have pets or kids or whatever it is that the samples are that month. Um, so anyway, I'll go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what came uh, in this box. Like with most free samples, um, of course they would like you to go on 
and rate the samples, share your thoughts. So that's part of it. Again, the more you participate, the more likely it is that you will get um, freebies. So here is what it looks like, wrapped up really nicely. And we have, ooh, Svelte, you've got a peel, banana cream organic protein shake, huh? Well, that sounds good. You guys know I'm always trying to get protein into Papa, so we'll see if he will take that. Then we have a bag of Oogies, gourmet popcorn, spicy nacho cheddar. You guys know I don't like spicy food. We don't eat spicy food here, but I will find someone to give that to. And it's a nice, you know, nice size bag. Then we have Bakery on Main double chocolate bar. Four grams of protein, four grams of fiber, and eight grams of sugar. Non-GMO, certified gluten-free. So, it's a little snack bar. Then we have some gum. Glee gum! Sugar-free bubble gum. Then we have, what are these? Let's see. Sriracha hot sauce. Yee! You guys know I don't eat spicy food, but anyway. Um, little packets of hot sauce. My brother stops over. I'll give those to him. He likes spicy food. What do we have here? Everything is stuck together. Sometimes I've gotten like beauty products in these. Um, this is clearly more food related, although now this is a first aid ointment little sample. And sorry about my nails. I just took my polish off, filed them down because they need a little breathing time. Ooh, I love these. I've gotten these before. Tiger Balm pain relieving patches. Let's see, there's two of them here. So that's awesome. Love those. Arthritis pain is a biatch. And Papa uses them as well. And then we have ancient party detox dissolving supplement. And then some coupons and um, brochures in there. So that's everything that came uh, in the goodie box. Again, I will link them below. If you're interested, go check them out. Free, create an account, and you never know what might show up in your mail. Okay. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I always want to have a planner and then I get a planner and I don't use it. I went on Pip Sticks the other day because they had mystery boxes. And then I also saw these and I wanted them. And then you got a free gift. And then I was like, ooh, they have planners. I love this one, Building My Empire. This typewriter looks exactly like the typewriter that my parents had. And now I'm thinking, I may still have that. It may still be in my basement here in my house. I do not know. I will have to ask Papa if he's seen it. But I thought maybe I'd do better with this one because it's you know from a sticker company. You get some stickers in the beginning. And this one starts in, when does it start? Oh, it starts in January. I thought it said August. Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. Yeah, here you go. Didn't see the little tabs. So we've got stickers in the front. We've got goals. And then in August, we can start. Oh, they're all stuck together. Here, let me go to where the tab is a little smaller. Here we go. January, there were three different um, covers and I just liked this one the best. So yeah, I know I've shown you guys stuff from Pip Sticks before, but so yeah, this one starts in August. So that gives me a few weeks here to um, get myself in order to do a planner. I had to have these. I love these, the little makeup. They're all stuck together. Yo, the, oh, there's several sheets in there. <gasps> I gotta open these up, hang on. So Pip Sticks, not only can you get the monthly subscription, but you can also just order, you know, off the website. Like I had the planner, the mystery box, and then I got these. There are actually three sheets of these. How friggin' cool. Look at all the makeup. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I got a pack of those. And then they sent, this was just a little freebie thing. Just little general stickers. And then I ordered one of their mystery boxes because I just, I don't know. Sometimes you just splurge. And I love stickers, so I just splurge on this. So I'll open it up and give you a quick look um, at what's inside. Oh, my lord, be look at all this good stuff. <gasps> oh, my God. I see pugs at the bottom. <gasps> we have an index clip. <coughs> we have little sachets and perfume bottles. We have people walking around. We have robots. 
and some sort of monsters and a little notebook with all glittery <gasps> this is you know mystery box just like odds and ends we have birds we have stars stars ignore my nails i just took my polish off to let my nails breathe Ooh, puffies and they're from japan <gasps> more stars black cats whoop more cats stars are sticking to everything what the heck <gasps> donuts mm. I'm such a sucker for stickers now if these had existed when i was a child i would have lost my mind Papa would have been so mad because I'm like, give me all the stickers, Papa. We used to go to the toy store. And, you know, back in the day, the only things I ever got outside of Christmas or birthday were um, stickers or Smurfs. And even then, it was like pulling teeth to get my dad to buy them. He was so, 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 so cheap. Like a dollar sticker. What are you doing? Got a big apple. <laughs> I don't know how much stickers were. Quarter. Love that. Ooh, these are, these are scratch and sniffs. Mm. Oh, I love grape. I love grape childhood grape smell more than any other scent all kinds of loose stuff stamps little pandas Ooh, look at these that metallic look prism oh my gosh we got some fuzzy ones oh my gosh this box is stocked wedding oh look at the little ones cute Oh, love this. Little food. Oh, why are the pugs related to the pigs? Now, I mean, come on now. Oh, so cute. More cats. Numbers. Smiley faces. Stars. More stuff. Leaves. Those are pretty. I don't know if you can tell there. Sorry for those of you who are only here for eBay and like, why is she showing us all these stickers? But I know some of you like this stuff. So if you don't like this stuff, you can forward through because there'll be more eBay on the other side. More cats. This looks like a Mrs. Grossman's. Mm-hmm. I know a Mrs. Grossman's when I see it. Oh, those are cute. What a glorious day. Balloons and those and the ooh, clowns. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. They're like white stars. Stamps. So cool. See, my thing is I should use the stickers in the planner. Like, wouldn't that be the thing to do? I just need to figure out how to like actually do that. Ooh, a whole envelope. So, um, oh yeah, with Pip Sticks, so there's you can get a children's subscription or an adult subscription, and they have two sizes of each, like a $10 one and a $15 one, I think. And, um, yeah, so there's some little kids ones, more of these Japanese type stickers, a whole pack, tiny stickers. Oh my goodness. Looks like small world. It's a small world after all. It's Norway. Oh, I should, you know, if I sell some of my Norwegian stuff from that Scandinavian sale, I should put that in it. Here we have France, France. We've got a notepad. Love paper. They are getting more like stationary products in, which I love. Look at those. Ice cream cones, donuts, unicorns, a big old cactus, a postcard. They really did just throw random stuff in these, but hey, that's the fun of it. Macaroons. Is that a flower or butterfly? It's a postcard. Oh, my gosh. A little, like, uh, Japanese-style postcard. I don't know if they deliver that in America. Look at the pugs. Oh, it's paper. That's cute. We've got washi tape of cats and little squirrely-like things. Or is that a cat? I don't know what you are. Little bunny things, little kawaii-like stuff. We've got some random envelopes. <laughs> Some um, just cards, I guess. More envelopes. Mm, here comes this. I don't know what these are for. Just paper stuff. Like I said, just their odds and ends. Some actual envelopes that they send the subscriptions out in. Lots of little random. Now we're getting a little random here. Just the empty envelopes, but whatever. Can always put stuff in them. Cool. And then a pen. 
Ooh, yeah, so this is one, this was the biggest mystery box they had. That was super fun to go through. Um, so yeah, I will link Pip Sticks. No, is this Pip Sticks or, yeah, this is Pip Sticks. And then I'm gonna show you what came in my latest Sticky Club and Mrs. Grossman's, um, but this one was um, for Pip Sticks, so I'll link it below. So this is my latest um, Sticky Club box or envelope. Now, Sticky Club is $10 a month, and there are three options to choose from. Cute, vintage, or do they call it retro? It might be retro, and pop. I've been getting the retro for some time now. It's just usually what I like. The nice thing is, is they give you a preview of what's coming, and you can change. So I actually saw for next month, and I didn't like the retro one. It was all just animals. So I switched to the cute pack, which was... Um, I think squirrels or something, or gerbils. I'm not sure, but anyway, I liked it a lot better. So um, I always look for that, their preview, so I can change if I want it. But um, this is the, one of the retro packs. And every month, like I said, they have a different theme. Um, so here we have all these like perfume bottles, vintage, look at the um, canning jars. So cool. Then we have light fixtures, sweet. Oh my gosh, we, oh my gosh, I love this one. Computers and typewriters and globes and sewing machines. Oh my gosh, I, oh, look at the Polaroid camera. I love this, I love it. That one's awesome. Random little paper clip shaped like a globe. We have, doesn't really work well on my brown pillow, does it? Oh, more like retro sewing and just, Kind of Victorian looking house stuff so that's cool we have some it's like Chinese writing scrolls those are awesome like kind of like they've been torn then little oh little like a post-it note and then these random they just look like old paper that's been torn and the cool thing that Sticky Club has been doing as of late is they um, started sending everything in these protective envelopes and they come with a little hook so that you can keep everything in there and then hook them together if you wanna keep um, organized that way. So that is Sticky Club. And now I'm gonna open my latest from Mrs. Grossman's. Again, I will, be linking all this stuff below. Goodie Box, Pip Sticks, Sticky Club, and Mrs. Grossman. So I'm loving Mrs. Grossman's the most, to be honest. I'm excited to see what's in here. So here's Mrs. Grossman's. This month, we're thrilled to be sending you a super magical pack of stickers. We're talking rainbows and unicorns. Oh, as a child of the 80s, let me tell you what. It was rainbows, unicorns, sparkles. Oh my gosh, look at those. They're like puffy. Make rainbows. <gasps> oh, it's the teddy bear. I love the Mrs. Grossman's teddy bear. Oh, this is like you send it to somebody if they want to get a discount. If I link it below, I think there's a, it includes a discount. So, okay, let me open up um, the envelope and I'll show you what's inside. Every month they include a sheet of legitimate vintage stickers, the ones from the 80s, 90s. I think they, what they say, 1979. So I got these ribbons. Then we have some of the glitter rainbows, which is so Mrs. Grossman's. Unicorns with the glittery tails and whatever unicorns have. Little glittery hearts. These are like prism, I think. Ooh, 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 I'm having an 80s flashback. Ah, more bears, I love the bears. I just love the bears. More rainbows, again, kind of the, oh, these, oh, they have a little shimmer in them. Go. We have some fairies and unicorns. More unicorns. More rainbows. Dragons, ooh, they're glittery. Ah. More rainbows and unicorns. Well, they weren't lying when they said this, this was rainbows and unicorns. Oh my gosh, look at those. Gold unicorns. <laughs> they were going unicorn crazy in the factory. Oh my gosh, and then what's this? Jessica Flick, who's she? Not sure, but anywhere. These are dreamy unicorns. Ooh. Huh. I 
because she's one of their designers or she has her own design thing. I'm not sure, but anyway, those are sweet. So yeah, those are my latest sticker acquisitions. And for anybody asking, no, I don't do scrapbooking. I'm not using, well, I might use, I need to start using them in my planner, but I just love stickers and I just like to collect them. So these stickers are just because I love stickers. That's it. It is Sunday morning and I have three eBay sales to start the day. First is this Lauren, Ralph Lauren sweatshirt. This is an older piece of, I've had a while. I accept now for 15 bucks, free shipping, get out of here. This is a Fabletics 2XL. I think Jack and Ryan sent me this in the bins box. I think they did. And it sold for 15 with free shipping. So thanks guys. I think I've sold a couple pieces from them. I'm right. I don't have much of it listed. Today my goal is to take photographs of clothing. I did hard goods yesterday and so I need to get clothing going. Um, and this Express, just little knit sweater. Again, this is something I've had for ages and it got put into my final $9.99 with free shipping sales. So, you know, after the shipping costs and fees, it's not gonna be a huge amount of profit here, but again, in this time of the year, just to get um, some stuff out of here and keep my store active is, um, the main thing, I listed this stuff, those uh, Christmas houses. The thing with these, <laughs> if you've ever had these before, you know the pain isn't in photographing or listening. It's getting them in and out of these freaking styrofoam things. And they like squeak trying to get them out. Little styrofoam balls fall everywhere. It's like, oh my God. I was doing these, um, I think I listed them Friday. I was like, oh, I'm never getting these again. They're such a pain in the butt. But anyway, um, these were at that um, estate sale a couple weeks ago, and they had them like $3. I can't pass up a Department 56 house for 3 bucks. A lot of times when you look on the solds on eBay, people price them way too low. I price mine at $59.99 with best offer on, buyers pay shipping. Also, if the dates are before $19.99, I cross post to Etsy, and I've sold a couple of these village houses on Etsy. So they kind of maybe are a better sale over there. Um, right now, I'm trying to get as much on eBay as possible. And then, you know, cross post to Etsy, trying to get a few a day just to keep my store over there active. Um, like I said, I don't have any clothes, I have new clothes to list. Uh, so I haven't been cross posting anything Poshmark. I haven't been doing anything on Poshmark other than following people back who follow me. I don't even think I've shared my closet in a couple days. Um, but hopefully I can get some clothing photos today and then maybe later this week um, cross post a few things to Etsy. So now, or Poshmark, I'm sorry. So now that eBay, so eBay did 14 day sale rule. You can't put anything on sale unless it's listed for 14 days. Then you can run a sale. But after the sale was over, they said you had to wait another 14 days to put something on sale because the 14 day rule is when an item is the same price. So you put something up for 20, it goes on sale for 15. Well, eBay considers that you've changed the price. So when that sale ends, the price had been changed, you got another 14 days. Well, people like let them know, uh-uh, no way. So they reneged on that. So it's still a 14 day sale policy, but once your 14 days are up, then you can run sales again. So what I had just done before they announced that was I had ended all my clothing and I switched it to 10 day listings and I was gonna manually lower prices. Well, now that they've done this, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna list all clothing good till canceled with free shipping and best offer. And then every four, or once they're up for 14 days, then I can, you know, put them in a 10, 15% off sale, try to run lower dollar sales, but still run sales. And that way, you know, people like that sale. It's just a mentality. I wish I didn't have to run sales either, but people like the mentality of things being quote unquote on sale. So uh, yeah, I couldn't believe it. just after I had done that and listed everything 10 days, clothing 10 days, they change it, but that's fine. So when the Listings at 10 days end, stuff's gonna get relisted. I'll do a sell similar, so it gets a new item number, relisted, and I will, like I said, maybe mark my price up a bit, put best offer, put free shipping, and then run um, the sales 
like I used to once they've been up for 14 days. Thank you, eBay, for making us all jump through hoops. I feel like they pulled back because eBay Open is in a week or two, and they know people are going to be ticked off. It wouldn't surprise me that once the um, fall update comes, they totally go back because I think they just wanted to make people happy so they don't get screamed at so much at eBay Open, but I think they're going to get screamed at a lot. Let me know if you're going to eBay Open and if you plan to scream at eBay. I'm not going. I have no desire to go to Las Vegas or to be around a bunch of people or to learn stuff. <laughs> I'll just wait till everybody gets back and like gives me the highlights. Um, but yeah, let me know if you're going to eBay open. Leave a comment below. We'll take as many as we can get. Look at this pretty girl. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Yes. You're upside down on the camera, Lucy Lou. You're upside down. What are you doing? You sitting by mommy while I read the newspapers? Yes. I need to get to our Yonkers. I think they're in the last couple days of clearance. We have one store left here. This is the Des Moines ad. Look at the brands they have. Our, our Yonkers does not carry free people. <laughs> anyway, I know that when the one store closed in my area, the best deals were the week before their last week. Once the last week rolled along, they jacked up the prices again. So I'm going maybe tomorrow to see what ours has. What do you think, Lucy? You want to go Yonkers? Lucy, you want to go to the mall? She's like, oh no, I stay home. Yes, yes you do. Yes you do, you're upside down, hello. Are you worn out, Charlie? You're so worn out we have to sleep on the end table. Yes, we had lots of playtime today, didn't we? In between mommy taking pictures, we went outside and played with the ball. And we love the ball, don't we? Charlie loves the ball. Lucy's over there, she's under the table, she loves the ball. Ball, ball, ball. And now we're tired. We're so tired. We can't want to sleep on our bed or pillows. No, we want to sleep on the end table. You guys are weird. You guys are very strange little doggies. But that's okay. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching today's vlog. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Also check out the links under the video. I have links to all of my eBay books as well as my blog and social media. So until the next time, bye.